What's up, y'all? It's Steph, and I'm back with another prank. Y'all, today is going to be a good one, y'all. So today, we decided to do solos, right? So since Tasha was only busy today, y'all, I was tasked with figuring out what we're going to do for our videos. Because y'all know we never just eat. So she thinks we're going to be doing some viewer topics, y'all. And we are. The only problem is I wrote them all. Okay, so I made up the craziest topics I could think of. She's going to be feeling awkward. She ain't going to want to answer this shit. I got some stuff that's going to maybe trigger her. This is about to be hilarious. I cannot wait. So let's see how she reacts to these crazy, insane viewer topics that she got to give advice to. That's Tasha. That's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We're going to eat a little, drink a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, this ain't no click play. What's up y'all? It's Tasha and I'm back with another solo video. If you are new here, please check our channel out and see if you like our content. If you do, like, subscribe, really subscribe and leave some comments. That's that's the most important thing to me. Leave some comments so we can talk to you. And if you've been here before, welcome back. What's up OGV fam? Today I'm having rotini, which is like spaghetti. I think black people still call it spaghetti. Even though it's yeah, it's, that's spaghetti. Yeah, this is spaghetti, and this maybe not even black people. Everybody might still call it spaghetti, and um, garlic bread that Stephanie bit a piece of. I did not bite that. Don't tell them that. Mm -hmm. I bit it. Stephanie always touching Josh food. Got some scorpion um, Tabasco sauce because I want my stuff a little hot and spicy, and that's all. No, and then we have some viewer topics, but we gonna breeze through them. Like we gonna get through these fast because we have so many topics. I don't know if you have been seeing them. I haven't been doing anything. Yeah, we got a lot. So I've been in the comments a little bit, y'all, trying to, you know, we. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. I ain't about to okay. give a whole speech. Well, we have a lot of topics. I promise people that we're gonna be getting them done, and these I picked the good ones for your ass. Oh, you did. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Woo. This is all unhomemade spaghetti. I mean, I did make it at home, but this was the whole, this was the jar. I used Prego and Bertoli. I've never used Bertoli before. I just decided to try it. Oh, you like it? <laughs> I already tasted it. It's oh, fine. Okay. Tastes like pizza. It's marinara sauce. It tastes like a little pizza-ish. All right, so let's get into the video, y'all. I uh, got my hair braided. All right, y'all, so I'm just going, how do I feel so short? I feel extra short. I'm about to dig in. It's 4.45. The first meal of the day. And I'm sure the last. I was getting my hair done. 11 to... I got my sides cut, but we ain't gonna talk about that. Um, <laughs> I was. I found out about this. Uh, I don't know if y'all been to Star Crab. If you have, let me know in the comments how it tastes. It's at the Ladera Center. Um, it's a new seafood place. I wanted to go over there, but it was already three. I mean two. And I didn't feel like driving all the way over there coming back. So I said, what can I do that's quick? I did not want fast food at all. Spaghetti is quick. Mm -hmm. All right. I think a good alternative to fast food is Food that you can cook yourself really fast. Mm -hmm. At home though. You know? Wanna be some garlic bread? Mm -mm. No garlic. Yeah, I'm <clears> glad <throat> that we both have not been feeling out food at the same time. Because a lot of times it'd be like off, you know. Yeah. I feel like I am done. Like with with I mean I have to really crave it, but I don't I really Oh, I want to say I hate it. <laughs> it's the thought of I actually don't even want anybody cooking my food it's either. Mm -hmm. yep. I don't want them touching it, breathing on it, mm -hmm. letting their hair drop in it. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Do you know how I many nose hairs that we probably have? No. no I'm just saying. It. <laughs> it's true. It is no true. matter where you eat, it can be the best restaurant in the world. Yeah. You don't think somebody knows here? They don't have nose caps. They have caps to go on their head, but they don't have no caps to go on people's nose. No. People are spitting on your food. Trust yeah. me. You eating, they spit. Yeah. I'm, I ain't giving her much time to uh, eat, y'all. I'm eating, though. I got a lot to get through. Mm. That is so good right now. <laughs> I usually don't use rotini, but. I know. I like saying you just like the spaghetti. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not giving you the full effect of me eating spaghetti. Because <laughs> this is actually rotini, not spaghetti. But it's bomb. Should I use a fork instead? Think that'll help? 
They can see me dipping. Mm -hmm. I'm using a spoon, so it's just like. You want plastic? Plastic, please, ma'am. Hi, y'all. Y'all want to see my hair? Mm -hmm. Um. I don't have nothing to say, huh? <laughs> I'm really over here just eating. What time you at? Six minutes. Um, I could jump into the. First I could have talked about something. Mm -hmm. I don't know what. Yeah, you can jump. You can jump into the topic because you can answer it while I eat. All right. You pull him up, y'all. <laughs> Oh, which one? She's first. Okay, he's a some doozy something. Huh? She had some doozies. Yeah. Mm. We need to, we need y'all's help. Tasha might need y'all's help on these. Okay. Okay. Thank you to everybody who's been sending us topics too. Because I've been seeing a lot. I probably because we've been doing them. So people are you know wanting to send theirs in, but keep sending them. Steph and Tasha on Instagram, y'all. I need to look at my Instagram because I didn't look at it today while I was getting my hair braided. Yeah. I saw like 15 messages. Okay. I just didn't check them. I was falling asleep too. <laughs> All right, hey Steph and Tasha, I need your advice. When I was younger, my cousins and I used to experiment a lot with each other. Uh -huh. As we got older, my male cousin and I started secretly dating and ended up having two kids. She said her male cousin and her? Yes. Whoa, okay. Everyone in the family knows now. Okay. And we got married two years ago. I, you can marry your girl? Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, you, you, I didn't know you uh, You, can, you marry, can marry anybody? You can't marry your dad. I don't know. I never thought of that. Can you marry, like, your brother? No, it's incest. But can you marry him? Is it illegal? I don't know. I have no idea. Never thought of that. Okay. I guess. Anyway, she got married two years ago. The problem is... I now feel very awkward around my other cousin who flirts with my man at every family event. <laughs> Wait, are her man and her cousin cousins? Yeah, they all cousins. You should feel awkward, but not because your cousin is talking <laughs> with your man, ma'am. <laughs> now you feel awkward? Shit. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Like, <laughs> I don't even want to hear this son of a bitch topic. Mm -hmm. so, I'm sorry, ma'am. We all messed around as kids, but I feel like she wants to continue to do so now. Like you doing? <laughs> my husband. Wait, also my, my cousin. First of all, it's your husband. Not your husband. <laughs> your husband. But okay. She said, also, my husband has discussed being Polly to include her and one other cousin in our relationship. What would you do? I guess she don't want to do the poly relationship with all the cousins. But her husband wants to. <laughs> you okay? Oh my. <laughs> Are they black? This is, this, I don't know. <laughs> you know cousins be doing shit all the time. Okay. They do. I know that when they're little. We've had a couple that said they didn't. They still with their cousins. You had a couple. What you mean? No, in a, like that we talked to oh. a couple of topics before. Um, this is a little crazy. Yeah, I don't know what you. What, what, was, what was my question? What was the question? <laughs> I guess she don't want to do the poly relationship with all the cousins, and the husband does. And then you got the issue of the cousin. Wait, he wants the poly with. Two of her cousins. Their cousins. Yeah, right? The people that they was fooling around with that kids. Y'all nasty. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I try my best in life not to be judgmental, but this is one thing that I don't like and I don't agree with and I think it's disgusting. But it's your business. Um, I suggest that you go ahead and be poly with your cousins since you already have your cousin already. You married to them and you have kids. So your children are your great cousins. Your children are your cousins and kids, right? Because your cousins' kids become your second cousins. 
So you your, your children are your children plus second cousins. Just because she's doing something to her cousin don't mean she want to share them. Why not? How does it? You that, already. That's not the same thing. Okay. Polygamy and incest are two different things. You're right. You're right. She don't want to share. You're right. Okay. But I guess he like, that. we been sharing. Why you want to stop now? <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's take the cousin situation out of it. Okay. If it was just your cousin flirting with your man at at family events. What about it? What would, what would you say to that? <clears throat> to my cousin? How would you deal with that? I would tell my cousin not to flirt with my man. <laughs> I mean, that's it. What else am I supposed to say? Oh, what if she didn't care? Then yeah, what you doing? I'm going to beat her up. <laughs> Is that what you want me to say? No, I just want to Oh, if my cousin was flirting with my woman, <laughs> I'd be like, lay off my wife. I mean, that's it. I'm not going to do nothing crazy. I mean, just be like, cousin, don't do that. And if the cousin keeps doing it and disrespectful, we just ain't going to have her around. Now, I'm probably going to end up getting into a fight with her, to be yeah, honest. Exactly. I think so. That's probably what's going on. You want to keep on disrespecting me? Yeah, you're not going to keep on disrespecting me. I, I would be more upset if for my cousin to try to talk to my wife than a stranger that knows I'm with her to talk to my wife because, I don't know. Either way, we going to have a problem. All right, let's let's move on. Let's Please do, man. I don't like that. Okay, all right, here you go. One. Okay. All right. Hey guys, this question is mainly for Tasha. I love your nonchalant personality, but sometimes I feel like you take it too far. It's obvious you are not completely happy with your wife or your life. So why not just leave instead of doing videos where you looking irritated every day? <laughs> I know you can do better, and so do you. When will you leave? Whoa. And for Steph, why do you force her? <laughs> why do I force you to stay with me when I know you ain't happy? <laughs> Goddamn. Oh, my God. These people are crazy. I love how you know my life. <laughs> right. <laughs> I love how you read, you read me. You read Stephanie. I love how you did that. Um, number one, I'm not taking anything too far. When, I, uh, when I'm on here looking irritated, it's just because I look like an irritated uh, I do want to be with my wife. Otherwise, I wouldn't have married her. I'm 40 years old. I'm not no dumb 20-year-old that's going to be with somebody that I want to be with. And I do YouTube because I want to do YouTube. Looking irritated is just a part of my face. It has nothing to do with what I really am. I'm not irritated. I just look like this. Okay, now I'm irritated. Even when I'm irritated, I'm only irritated for a second. I noticed that I roll my eyes in videos when I watch them back sometimes. I didn't actually roll my eyes though. I mean, they got rolled, but they didn't weren't rolled because of the reason why people roll their eyes. It's just right. something that's automatic that happens. Yeah. yeah, I'll do this, but it's not, it has nothing to do with me actually rolling my eyes. So, because right. that shit, first of all, is real feminine and I ain't that fucking. <laughs> yeah, I don't do it. So, I don't even know why that happens, but it does. And. I'm not irritated. I do want to be with her. Um, something's wrong with you. You need to go check yourself out. Ma'am. <laughs> I mean, that's it. And please don't ask me another stupid ass question. Ooh, shit. I don't have an answer for why I force you to stay with me when I know you're not happy. I don't do anything to force her to stay. Can nobody force me to stay with them? <laughs> oh, shit. I'm not scared of Stephanie. <laughs> like, no? you ain't going nowhere, mother. <laughs> me and Stephanie work together. <laughs> 13, 14. Five years before we started YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. All right. Next topic. I'm a 78 year old woman who became widowed three years ago. I finally decided to start dating again. Wait. I finally <laughs> started. Finally started dating again. I was married to a man, but secretly always wanted to try a woman. I met an 82 year old woman on Tinder who is in a similar situation. Neither of us has been with another woman. <laughs> what advice can you give us in terms of dating and more specifically how to please a woman sexually? Oh my God. I'm not sure if I want to go down on somebody so old. Please help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should motherfucker. <laughs> Oh. Don't put that in. Oh. Oof. 
I don't want. She was dating. <laughs> I don't want to give her no <laughs> dating advice. Why? If you were seventy eight, I wouldn't be. <laughs> when are we are seventy eight, we are going to watch movies, go horseback riding, <laughs> go on vacation. No, please, I'm still gonna be getting crackers. With who? You. you. Oh my god, babe. I don't want to do it when I'm 78. I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm not even comfortable with that. No, I don't want to do it. Babe, my parents are 70. Hello, I'm sure they still want to do something. I don't want to talk about that. Oh, yeah. 70 is the new 50. Okay. What was the question? Everybody is younger now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, what was the question? She, basically, she's never been with a woman. Okay. So this is the first woman she's ever dated. She wants dating advice. Neither one of them have ever been with women. Uh, okay. She wants dating and sex advice. How do you please a woman? And then she ain't sure if she want to go down with somebody so old. <laughs> Don't you think age is something? It's like a weird thing as far as going down with somebody? I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> okay. Alright, so what... Um... <laughs> Um, you, uh, you, um, you go, <laughs> you go on a date with her and then, um, just like, um, if you guys have a glass of wine, you might just fall asleep before anything ever happens. <laughs> so every time you go out, just make sure you have a glass of wine. Babe, why? Are you serious? Yeah. Why? You know what, what am I supposed to do about a 70 year old having sex? 70 is different. 70 and 80. There's a difference between 70 and 80. Once you no. hit 80, you don't. You don't know. All right. What am I supposed to say? How to please? Okay, you take the age out of it. Give her Hold advice. On. How would you give somebody advice who has never dated a woman and they finally met somebody? Neither one of them has have dated women. Okay. Um. Ugh. Um. I don't know how to give a 78 year old advice. Uh, I I think that you're very wise. Don't leave that in. Oh shit. They're gonna be like, I'm 83, bitch. What? Well, if you are in watching this video right now and you are over 75 and you are still getting it cracking and you are two females, <laughs> please let me know what you do. Let the lady that's asking the question know in the comments what you do because I'm not sure what to do. Um, Thank you, everybody else does. Okay. Why is this shit any different? Well, maybe it's not. Exactly. Okay, well, I'm not gonna, I don't have an answer for the question. Okay. You take the person out on a date and you, um, you talk to her about what she likes and, um, when she tells you, you try to do it. If you don't think you want to, um, do that with her maybe you should experiment with somebody else uh do you think she should go with somebody younger first no just to get some i don't think somebody younger sure yeah she can go with somebody younger <laughs> if you can find someone younger that would and want to be doing things with you let me know yeah and um yeah, just talk to her. You both, you guys have never been. Maybe you guys should just watch adult films and then see what they do, like, and then do what they do. Okay. Next question. Let's see. That's Prank it. Prank is over. <laughs> 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 Woo! <laughs> I don't think it was prank. None of those are real. <laughs> those are some good. Where'd you get that from? Okay, High five. <laughs> All of them? Yeah. That shit was good. <laughs> Wait, what was the first one? The cousin thing. Yeah. That was disgusting. <laughs> that was fucking disgusting. That seemed very realistic. I know somebody's doing that. I know somebody's doing that. That it's a bit much with the poly, with the cousin and the other cousin. That that was a lot. That was a lot. I had to go over more with it. Yeah, that was a lot. What was the next one? The next one was oh, the first that was mad at you, but hating me. <laughs> that one wasn't so bad. That one was very. Um, I, it was easy for me to think that somebody would say that because somebody had said things like that about us before. Yeah. Um, and the old, <laughs> older couple. I believed everything. I wanted to crack up so bad. I, I believed everything. Wrong. It didn't seem Ooh. very <laughs> unrealistic. None of it sound completely unrealistic because I've heard a lot. Right. I mean, 
Nowadays, you have no idea what's going on with these folks, y'all. She went 82 year old. Yeah, that was, I didn't want to laugh. I probably did laugh. I'm not sure. I cannot wait. So you don't have to edit it. On this one. I'm glad that wasn't real because I was like, oh, this is going to mess up the whole 78 year old one because I want you to take that whole thing out because I don't think I reacted well. But if you are at that age and you, I mean, yeah. But I don't want to discuss that with you. You know, I don't want to talk about that. I don't. <laughs> That's good. Cool. I'll talk about it. You can hit me up and step love, love. You need to talk, okay. ma'am. That's good. All right, that was that was great, y'all. All right, y'all. If y'all like the video, give it a thumbs up. Let us know what you guys think. We got a vlog channel, stuff. I talk about vlogs. Link is in the description below. Such notifications to all, so you'll be reminded of daily uploads, live streams, premieres. Until next time. Only good vibes. Peace.